So you're there. I'm about to go in. You know what has to be done. I want fireworks, and I'm expecting a full report. What are you doing here? Why is that any way to greet your favorite co-star? My favorite co-star was the Shih Tzu. Spit it out, Ionia. What are you doing here? Well, do you really have to ask? Darling, <laughs> I've missed you so much. <laughs> Vicky, how long were you standing there? Why? What are you hiding now? Get your hands off my man, bitch! Dorian, I, I thought you said she wouldn't be here. I thought you told me we would be alone. David, you didn't tell me we had a guest. But then, of course, how could you tell me? Because our so-called guest had her tongue obstructing your vocal cords. So you were eavesdropping? Echo, I don't know who you were talking to or what you were talking about. And I could care less. Even if it was Charlie? Oh, no, 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 no. I know for a fact you were not talking to Charlie. Because I know for a fact that Charlie will never, ever speak to you again, not after what you did. Letting him believe that he was Rex's father when you knew all along that it was Clint. Vicky, we both have people we care deeply about in crisis. I don't think now is the time for recriminations. Right, right. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to upset you. I am truly sorry about Clint, and I know you probably don't expect to hear that coming from me. Is there any hope? No, not now. Since Rex has Gigi's health care proxy signed, it's up to him to decide whether or not Clint gets her heart. But you know that. Yes, I, I heard that. Yes. And my poor boy is devastated over losing Gigi. We all are. Yeah, we all are. I'm going back to Clint. By the way, Vicki, did you know that it was your good friend Dorian who's responsible for Clint being on death's door right now. Dorian, be believe me, there's nothing going on. Although Ionia probably wishes there was. Darling, it's too late. Wait. We've been discovered. We might as well tell her the truth. Dorian, David and I are in love. <laughs> David? Darling. What? She's crazy. Yes, crazy about you. Me, inamorato. Dorian, believe me. There's nothing going on between me and this octopus. We're not entangled together. We're certainly not in love. Then what is she doing here? Isn't it obvious? She's clearly obsessed with me. Access Landview recently called me stunning. And spectacular in bed. Where I have never been with you. Dorian, believe me. There's nothing going on here. She broke into my dressing room. She's an actress. They are all crazy. What about the photographs? <gasps> oh, no. Did you get them, too? Do you think someone is blackmailing us about our torrid affair? We're not having an affair. How else would Dorian have gotten her hands on that recording of me admitting I knew that Rex was Clint's son? While she was busy coercing him to give it to her, he was floundering on the floor in the throes of a heart attack. Dorian is a doctor. Exactly. So she knew what Clint's body was doing to him, and she used it against him. What are you saying? The God's honest truth. If Dorian had gotten help sooner, Clint might have been okay. But instead, his heart was badly damaged. I bet she didn't tell you that, did she? I'll take that as a no. Why would I believe one word you say? I know you think of me as the enemy. But the truth is, if your children's father ends up in the ground, it's Dorian's fault. That is the face of an insane woman. <laughs> Only when you push my buttons. Which I don't ever do. She's deranged. She's delusional. Although I gotta say, she's giving a better performance now than she ever did in our movie. You know what? You're absolutely right. Susan Sarandon would have been a much better choice. Police. Let's just kick her to the curb and forget this whole thing ever happened. 
Dorian, I must apologize to you. I, I really didn't want you to find out like this, but David and I, well, we have chemistry. I had chemistry with no one on that set. The director even said so. David. Chemistry, that! Oh, come on. I'm sure you remember what that's like. You can't fight it. Maybe not, but I can fight you. Oh, Dorian, honey. Don't honey me! Listen, I know you intimately. What? Not. No. Of course I do. I play you in the movie. I had to study you extensively. So I know how smart you are. I know that you're a survivor, Dorian. Because you're... You're a realist. You know when to hold them, and you know when to fold them. So it's time, Dorian. Let David go. <laughs> Why are you telling me all of this now? I know how important the truth is to you. So I thought you should know the truth about Dorian. is letting anyone go, Ionia. Dorian and I are very happily married. You are not now, nor have you ever been between us. Isn't that right, baby? Obviously, you two have a lot to talk about. Listen, darling. What are you... I'm going to be at the Palace Hotel. Come and see me after you've sorted things out with your, with your wife. But don't be too long. My little knickers. Miss Mr. Vickers. Ciao. Hey! Stick this in your little knickers! I didn't like that. I don't blame you. Mm -mm. She's crazy, huh? Nope, did not enjoy it at all. And how sweet at the Palace Hotel. Now you believe me, don't you, baby? Dorian, you can't actually believe that I'm having an affair with that deranged woman. Or any woman. <gasps> David. How can you not trust me, Dorian? I'm your knight in shining armor. I want to believe you, David. Honestly, I do. But that woman got in my face and she swore the two of you are having an affair. Well, I'm getting in your face and I'm telling you that it's all in her head. What? Here she is. Throwing herself at you in your dressing room. I know how it looks. But I'm telling you. That's not what happened. Why didn't you say a word to me until these photographs showed up? Dorian, listen to me. This is a setup. It's got to be. Good, you made it. I was worried someone might recognize yeah, me. We have to make this quick because I need to get back to the hospital, but I want to know what's going on. You went like a dream. I could see it on Dorian's face. There's a slight clenching of her jaw. I'm an actress, so I notice these things. That's why I wanted you to do this. Well, that clench told me everything I needed to know. She's starting to doubt David. Dorian, I am telling you, I will bet you anything. Somebody is messing with us. Although it is entirely possible that Ionia is so obsessed with me, she's making the whole thing up. But somebody's got to be responsible for those photographs. It makes no sense, David. Who would do that? Clint Buchanan. I am absolutely certain of it. Honey, Clint is kind of indisposed at the moment. Yeah, I'm really just kind of spitballing here because I have no idea. But I can tell you this. If we don't trust each other, our marriage is doomed. Well, you're doing a fantastic job. Just keep up the good work. Well, that's the only kind of work I do. Ciao. <laughs> and once I've destroyed Dorian's marriage, she won't know what he had.